Kids, welcome to another session of Link Kids Online. We are in part two of our vision series. And Dubs, it's so good to have you with us in your spacesuit again. It's so good to be back in my spacesuit and back with all you kids on Link Kids. It's an incredible, adventurous God story that he has us on here at Link Kids at the moment for one for all. Come on, somebody. Yes, so good. Wow. Speaking of adventures. On Earth. Do you have a backpack? Yes, I have a backpack. I see that. I was actually thinking about it. If we had to go to the, the moon, yep. or if we were the first people to ever go to Mars, what, or a planet, what would you pack? My toothbrush? What well, would you pack? I've got some things I've already packed. Like I've been dreaming this week and I've already packed a bag. Oh, that's awesome. Show us what you got. A packet of flings. Every flings. person needs a snack on the moon. I did pack flings. Flings is the right one. Uh, I also packed a ton of baked beans. I don't actually love baked beans, but I figured it like, lasts for months. So if we get stuck up there, it's gonna last you got some food. It's also full of protein. Beans are full of great protein, nice and strong. Tuna. Tuna fish. I don't like tuna either, but I figured it, it lasts forever in the tin. That's right, you must just tuna fish. How's it? Uh, Mari biscuits. Mari's. Do you have stuff for s'mores? No, no, you can't light a fire in uh, space. No fires on the moon, that's no, right. No, definitely no fires, especially not on a spaceship. A pack of mini Maoris. Mm. That'll be a good snack on the moon. And I've got a toothbrush. There we go. Nice and healthy. Mm. This one's stuck in here, but you can see it's a toothbrush. That's right. It's, it's new. And uh, some toothpaste, obviously. I like to have a clean mouth. That's right. Um, but uh, not very nutritional. Always, not very nutritional, but... Uh, I think we're limited with what you'd have to pack to take the moon. Yeah, I reckon so. I always wondered about that floating thing, you know, like you float around in space. Like imagine opening the things and they all just like float out the packet. There's no gravity up there, you have to hold them tight, otherwise they're going to come flying out the packet one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you catch last week's Vision Sunday message? If you didn't, I'd really encourage you to watch it. You know, God says in the Bible that without vision, a man will perish. So what That's actually right. is vision, right? Vision is a big uh, idea or a pathway for our lives, an end goal. Like a plan, you know, Absolutely. like, like you a map. Got, Yes, you've got to have a plan for your life. Awesome, and who better to ask than God, because He created us and He knows exactly what He created you for. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the God called so many different people, and uh, I love that scripture in Psalm 119, 105. If you've got your Bibles, I want you to go and grab it, Psalm 19, 105, and it says this. It says, your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our heart, which means the plan for our lives, the vision for our lives is often found in God's word. That is brilliant, because this week we have a devotional for you to follow. And um, so I really encourage you to uh, color in those rockets daily and go and pick up your Bibles every day and look for the scripture that's um, set out for you in that devotional. That's right. You know what I love about this God adventure is that God doesn't just come with a big torch or a big spotlight or this big beam and broadcast our future and give us the exact plan that He has for us. He actually gives us, a, it says a lamp into our feet. It just gives us the next step. Yeah, and there's so, so many good. different stories of incredible guys in the Bible. Yes. That literally God called them and they never knew exactly what they were going to do, but they were bold enough to just put down what they were doing and to follow God into everything that He had to do. So good, like in Genesis 12 and um, verse 1 to 9, go and read about it. It's the story of Abraham and how God calls Abraham to follow him. And he goes on, uh, God makes something incredible out of his life. And he was actually quite old when God called him. Yeah, and he had no idea or no uh, direction or insight or anything that God had for him. But he just trusted God's voice. And when God said, Abraham, I want you to go, he packed up his family and he trusted God. It was a big, bold step by everyone. So good. I'm sure most of you have been camping before. I love the fact that when you shine a light in front of you, it just gives you enough light to see a couple of meters in front of you, right? That's and such that's a good thought. It's so awesome. And yeah. that's exactly like God's word. And um, if we trust in him and read his word and spend time with him every day, he shows us little by little and he guides us on a path. Um, that he designed and set out for us. Absolutely. There's another scripture that pops in yes. mind. Yes, what is it's it? Matthew 4, verse 19. Okay, what and is it about? And it's the story of Jesus calling his disciples. Oh, and he says, I've got a chat. Have you got the story? Yes, I do. Um, grab your Bibles and have a look for it. It's Matthew 4, verse 19. Oh, come on. It says, come and follow me. He's talking to two fishermen, two brothers who are out on the sea. And he says, come and follow me. And then he goes on to say, I will send you out to fish for people at once. At once, without questioning, they dropped what they were doing and they left their nets to follow him. 
An incredible story. We've actually got a video on this. Do so we? Yes, we do. Oh, come on. Check it out. Stories of the Bible. Jesus calls Peter. This is Jesus. Hey, oh. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world? Jesus grew up in Nazareth. Here, Jesus. And was baptized by John in the Jordan River. Jesus began teaching about God's love and healing people of their sickness. One day, John saw Jesus walking by and told the people around him that Jesus was the Lamb of God. One of the people standing with him was Andrew, whose brother was Simon, who would later be known as Peter. Andrew went to find his brother and said, We have found the Christ! Whoa! Really? Come on! Simon went with Andrew and met Jesus. Uh-huh, I'm Simon. Jesus looked at Simon and said, Your name is Simon, son of John. Yes, it is. But you will be called Peter. Uh, okay. On another day, Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, and lots of people crowded around him to hear what he had to say. Oh, uh, uh hello. Well, oh, okay. Jesus noticed two empty boats for Andrew and Peter had left them, and were washing their nets. Jesus stepped into one of the boats hey, Peter. and asked Peter to take him out into the sea. Okay. So he sat in the boat and taught the crowds from there. When he had finished speaking, he said to Peter, now go out where it is deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish. Uh... But Peter said, we worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let the nets down again. And this time, their nets were so full of fish, they began to tear. Whoa! They called to some other fishermen for help. Hey, help! And soon both boats were filled with fish. When Peter realized what happened, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, Oh Lord, please leave me. I'm such a sinful man. Jesus replied to Peter, Don't be afraid. Come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. Really? Really. And as soon as they landed, they left their nets and followed Jesus. So Simon Peter became one of Jesus' 12 disciples and followed his friend Jesus throughout his time on earth. I love that story of uh, Simon, Peter, and Andrew. Um, they had no idea of the great plans that God had for their lives. Um, life with Jesus really sounds like a great adventure. It absolutely is. And I love the Bible because it tells us this, that great are His plans for us, to prosper us, to grow us, to give us a hope, and to give us a future. So good. Simon, and, uh, Simon Peter, and Andrew never even questioned whether it was a good idea or not. They dropped their nets, followed Jesus, and were called to a bold and beautiful life following God. So awesome. Uh, we have an incredible time of worship ahead and don't forget to check out the awesome craft Andy's prepared for you this week. Have an amazing week everybody.
Hey kids, welcome to our craft for this week. Andy, what are we making this week? We are making this super cool jetpack that I'm so excited about. A jetpack. A jetpack. Oh my goodness, my kids are going to froth for this activity. Um, where do we go to find the information that we need? Okay, so you head over to our Instagram page. You click the link in our bio and it'll take you to a page where you can download these printables that you'll need for the craft. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, what else do we need? I see you've got two plastic um, bottles yeah. here. Two plastic bottles of the same size. Awesome. Some foil, okay. glue, tape, and some string. A string or a ribbon, ribbon or a band of some we'll kind. Do. Awesome. Even a piece of fabric. Cool. Okay. Should we get started? Let's get into it. I love this activity. It is so awesome and so simple. It is the coolest jetpack I've seen. Um, and you can attach it to your back. Just all you need is a piece of spare piece of fabric, a belt, um, a ribbon, or anything like that. Even some string will do. Uh, Andy, I'll attach it to your back.
Amazing. And there you have it, your own personal jetpack. So you can zoom around the garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andy has zoomed off um, to have some fun with her jetpack. So have fun doing that activity. And don't forget, you can also download this incredible seven day devotional. Um, spending time with Jesus in His Word is the best way to grow in our relationship with God. Um, so grab your Bibles. Print this, stick it up on your wall, and every day read the scripture. Um, you can see it says Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, through to Saturday. Read the scripture and color in the rocket for that day. Um, have an incredible time with God this week.